Today, I have a very cool Power Query trick for you. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can dynamically change your column names based on another mapping table. So let me show you what I mean. Here, I have this data and you can see the column names are pretty weird. So I have date sale instead of date sale, I have DT underscore sale and amount USD. And I don't want these column names. I want proper descriptive names. So what I can do is instead of me manually changing it, because there is a possibility you're getting this data from many different places and maybe the column names are not consistent. So for example, here it is amount underscore USD, but maybe the next time you get this data, maybe it's just AMT instead of AMT underscore USD. So if you do not have consistent column name headers, what you can do is create a column mapping table. So you can see here, I have these column names, old column names here, which I want to replace. And I have these new names that I want to replace it with. And you can see for one column, I can have multiple names. For example, in this case, it could be C underscore ID or cust underscore ID. And if any of these is identified in my data, it would be replaced by customer ID. Similarly here, either of these, if it is found in my column, then it would be replaced by the name sale date. Now, let me show you how to do this in Power Query. And this is very useful in many situations, especially when you're trying to, let's say, combine data from different sources and when the column names are not consistent. So this is the kind of trick that you can use. So let's open these in Power Query. So I would go to this data, right click, then go to get data from table range. So it opens my data in Power Query. Let's save this as a connection. So I go to close and load to. And here I would click on only create connection. So now this has been created as a connection in Power Query. Let's also open this table, which is called a mapping table in Power Query. And now let's also load this as a connection. All right, let's go back into Power Query Editor. Now here I have both of these tables. Now what I want to do is somehow connect these two tables where this is the column mapping table where it picks up these old names, check what is the new name and then replaces it here in the header in this table. So to do that, what I'm going to first do is I'm going to make a few changes in this column mapping table because I cannot use it in this right in this format. I need to change it and convert this into a list of these column names. So what I want is to convert it in such a way where it is going to give me a list that is going to have these two values. So a list that has these two values, then it would give me another list that has these two values and so on. And the reason I'm doing this is because this is what I can then feed back into my data. So don't be confused by this. Let me show you what I mean. So what I'm going to do is add a new step here. So let's click on this FX icon. And here I'm going to use this function called table dot two rows. And now what this function does is it takes a table and then it converts every row in that table into a list. So I would have a list of lists, nested lists, where every element in the list is going to be this row. Let me show you what I mean. So here I'm going to put the name of the table. In this case, it's going to be change type step because that is what holds the table in this case. And now when I click anywhere, you can see I have a list of list. And if I click on this item here, this list uh, value here, you'll see it shows me these two values. So what it has done is in this table, it has converted these two values into a list. And similarly, it has then converted these two values into a list. So this is what I get here, which is list which has the first row then the second row then the third row and the reason i want this is because this is something that i that i can now feed back into this table that has the column names that i want to change so here again i have this data and let me now insert a new step now what i'm going to do is i'm going to use a function called table dot rename columns and this function here is going to let me remove this now. Yeah, let me show you what this function does. It is first going to take a table, which is going to be this table here. So that is going to be the change type step. So let's just put this here. And the second argument it takes is the renames as list. And this is where I'm going to feed what I got from this table here, call map. So what I can do is simply just put call map here. And when I do that, it is going to pick up the last step, which is giving me the list of lists. And now when I come here and click anywhere, you see it gives me an error. And the reason for this is because 
I have multiple values here in column map table. So if you come here to the source table here, you can see I have C underscore ID, but I also have customer underscore ID. So it is not finding all of these values. It is going to either find one value or the other. It is not going to find all the values for a given column name. So what I'm going to do is come back here and just add the third argument here, which is missing field ignore, which means that in case there is a missing field, just ignore it. So if you find a column name that is wrong and you find the correct name for it, just replace it. But if you find, do not find anything, then just leave it. So it is going to go through all the names in the column map, find the one that it can replace. And if it cannot find anyone, then it will simply ignore it. See what happens when I click anywhere here my table has been renamed how cool is this you can see that i have i started with something like this where my headers were my column names were really weird but now i have this table here and my column names are right and these column names have been picked up by another table that i created now if you change anything here if you have any column name new column names that are added or anything change that happens you can simply go back to your column mapping table and make the changes this is so awesome because now imagine you are combining tables from multiple different sources and the table names are different. You can simply create a column mapping table and then combine all of them and everything would be combined perfectly. So this is something I can probably show you in another video, but this is a cool trick that you should know where if you want to quickly rename your columns, but your column names are not consistent, then how you can create a column mapping table and do that. That's it in this video. I hope you found this useful. Also, if you're liking these videos, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and click on the bell icon so that you never miss out on any new Excel Tips video I come up with. Thank you and have a nice day.